Time Tropper fam, you already know what it is. It's that time, the playoffs. 82 games later, 29 vlogs, and here we are, game one. And of course, in classic Clipper fashion, Kawhi Leonard is not playing. Um, I am very disappointed. I waited five years for this. I've been saying this is the year we're gonna see him in a sold out Clipper game, playoffs, and it is not happening. So I'm very disappointed. Next man up mentality, which has been the phrase of our last five years, honestly. So let's see how it goes. James Harden's first playoff game as a Clipper. Luka Doncic's his first game against the sold out Clipper crowd. And I'm just interested to see how the crowd's gonna be. I've been saying, even these last couple years, we have not been as good as that 2015, 2014 Lob City crowd. So let's see what we get today. Energy, gonna need every bit without Kawhi. If you're the Mavericks, you gotta win this game, but you already know what we're gonna do. Leave it all out there. And if my voice is not different by the end of the game, then we gotta have problems. All right, hopefully I just don't get a headache. Uh, but that's probably gonna happen, so gotta stay hydrated, be loud. Let's go, Clippers! There let's we go. go. Let's go, let's go. Different season. Anyway, all right, guys, let's get it. Let's see what happens. Let's see how many people we see at the game tonight. The real Clipper fans coming out. Woo! Let's get it, baby. Elizabeth Burris. Shirts. Sure, it's on. A noisemaker on? Let me see that noisemaker. Do it? Boo! 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 Boo!
start for Sue and Terrence Mann. Terrence is locking everybody up. Kyrie's missing all his contested jumpers, and that's all he's taking.
Outside Staples Center after game one, but we just beat the shit out of Dallas, baby. Andrew, what we saying? Hey, we killed him. Uh, whole game, we had the lead, and uh, I like I like what I'm seeing so far. I, I knew we were going to win this series. I don't know why they counted us out. I, I saw that two-thirds of the people thought the Mavs were going to win. I, I think it's going to go six or seven, uh, but uh, we got this. Uh, and no, no Kawhi, and we, we just had the whole game, so I, I'm, I'm glad of what I saw today. What does it say about the guys to get out there, get a win without Kawhi? Were you nervous at all when you heard the news about him? Yeah, I was nervous. I'm not going to lie. Um, but we came through. The whole game we had the lead. And, uh, yeah, we got this series for sure. Player of the game for you? Harden. Harden? Yeah, first playoff game is a clipper. What you got to say about James? Give, give us something. He, uh, he actually showed up. Uh, I don't know what people are saying, that he, he's, he's, uh, he's kind of terrible in the playoffs, but he – he uh, put forth some effort, and I really appreciate what he did today. He, he, he got us to the win. You going to be here on Tuesday? Yeah, I got the whole playoffs. I paid, I paid the whole. I'm going to be here, man. Let's get it, baby. Yeah. All right, thank you, Andrew. Appreciate you, bro. Outside Staples Center after game one, where the Clippers have just gotten a commanding win without Kawhi or Dallas. JJ, how are you feeling, bro? You're in my section. I'm feeling great. <laughs> Hoping for a sweep without Kawhi. What does it say about the guys that they were able to play like that without Kawhi, man? They're all in playoff mode. Every single one of them, veteran experience, that's where you see it. We kept Luka and Kyrie at check. What do you think were the biggest keys to that? Ty Lue. They, we didn't even need to blitz uh, either, either of them. Yeah, and we, kept, we kept Zubats on the floor. Yeah, and then they got 60 points, but the rest of their team didn't even get double digits. Are we winning game two? Are you going to be here for game two? I'll be here for game two. Let's get it. Player of the game? Uh, either Zoo or Harden. Split between both of them, but yeah. Uh, Harden did what you needed to do in the first half, and that pretty much carried the momentum to the rest of the game. There we go. I'll see you there. Thank you, brother. Outside Staples Center, Rob, big time win. How we feeling? 207 was rocking. Oh, that that was amazing. Uh, it was super loud in there. Everyone was like on their feet. Everyone was jumping up and down. I was going crazy. I'm losing my voice a little bit already. Um, but yeah, amazing game. I love our, our fight. Didn't have Kawhi, didn't matter. Absolutely dominated. Dallas had eight points in the second quarter. Crazy. Who was your player of the game today, man? It was James Harden's first playoff game, but Zubats was so good. So many standout performers. Anybody stand out? Yeah, I mean, uh, I saw recently James Harden uh, last year or a few years ago against uh, uh, Boston game oh, last, one. Last year. Yeah, last year. He cooked. Uh, he did it again this year. He came back. But yeah, I mean, I got to give it to Zoo. That was one of his best games of the season, yeah. uh, especially in the playoffs. Uh, he absolutely dominated. We need more of that. Feeling good about this series? What about game two? You going to be here? I'll definitely be here for game two. Uh, I mean, they were coming back toward the end. Kyrie and Luka, they, they were definitely like, they were still making uh, making some shots. We kept them in check, though. We kept them in check, but they, they still had a lot of points. So uh, the, the good news for me, really, my takeaway, aside from them two, like, I wasn't really scared of anyone on the team, honestly. I uh, hope it stays that way. All right, Rob, catch you on Tuesday? Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday. There we go. Appreciate you, bro. Outside Staples Center, let me give some background real quick. The reason why I started interviewing fans on the vlogs was because of this guy right here. This guy does this in Birmingham, England for his football club. You guys got to go follow him and subscribe to him. I met him in a comment section on YouTube. Met each other in Qatar for Iran, England when we got absolutely waxed. And here he is now in game one. Dave Bo, how we feeling? Good to see you, 
great man. Great to see you, great guy. Keep following him. He's doing amazing work with the Clippers. How about your thoughts though as a, as a basketball fan of this game? It was a great day. I mean, look, we're here from England, so it's a thrill for us. Good atmosphere. Mainly started by you guys in 108. 207. Same thing, 207. A lot of good noise, and uh, Clippers just waxed them, didn't they? I mean, nothing went right for the Mavericks today. James Harden's first game as a Clipper, what do you make of it? Playoff Harden, he wasn't there today, he actually showed up. So it was a nice surprise. For first round Harden has technically won a seven straight first round series. That's it, yeah. It's, it's that little gap between the regular season and the real playoffs. So watch out when he gets to round two. Oh man, Dave, I'm putting that bad juju in the air, man. Do you think if Kawhi comes back, we take care of this? I think you should. I mean, look, you got the one game lead. And Kawhi is, uh, when he's on it, as we saw last season before he got injured, like no one can handle him. And I think the Mavs, you can see the Clippers trying to put Luka in a lot of yeah. a lot of defensive positions that he doesn't like to be in. And there's so many offensive weapons for the Clippers. They're going to be really tough to beat. Appreciate you, Davo. Any player of the game? Russ, because you know what? He came in, and even though you were already up, he changed the energy. Yeah, and the crowd is. lifts. And as someone who's into the crowd of sports and the the impact when the crowd affects the players and the players affect the crowd, Russ came in and everything lifted. He got some hustle players. He got a couple of great dunks. Uh, a couple of defensive plays, he knocked the ball away from Kyrie and guys are missing free throws, he's going to the crowd saying give me some, give me some and you need more of that and he was uh, a real impact today. Love it. Dave O? Yes sir, you too. Thank you. Outside Staples Center where the Clippers have just taken a 1-0 lead over Dallas and a commanding victory. DL2, how are we feeling? Pretty good. I'm, I'm, I'm honestly surprised, but not surprised at the same time. I, I was nervous going into game one. I wasn't sure what I was going to see out of certain people, but I saw exactly what I needed to, and I'm hyped for game two. Player of the game for you? I mean, no Kawhi. We needed major performances, yeah. and we got him. James Harden. Um, he, he stepped up in a major way. I think he made his first four, maybe five threes. It was just absolutely nuts. Um, he stepped up to the plate. Somebody needed to do it. I'm glad it was him. Um, behind that, obviously Paul George, he just went absolutely lights out, had a very good game. Two insane dunk attempts, um, and then third place, um, Terrence Mann, he's just the perfect blue guy. Ah, no love for Zoo. Um, I, I mean, it, it, it feels obvious that, that, that Zoo would, you know, play well. Um, I mean, he has been played off the floor against Dallas in the past. Yeah, I mean, that, that's that's a narrative that I don't really give a lot of credence to just because, you know, he, he, he went up against two big men that aren't that great and aren't that big. Uh-oh, you hearing that, Dallas? Yeah, and, and he sunned him. You know, one of them's a rookie, you know what I mean? And the other one's like a, you know, he's a I You know, he played for the Wizards his entire career. People hyped him up because he made like 20-something dunks in a row. Like, of course you can do that, you know, when you're just big as hell playing a bunch of mid-ass teams. And then he missed the dunk tonight. They were missing dunks left and right. He had one point off a free throw. And Dante Exum, no, Josh Green had two. Like, it, it's just, they played like shit, you know what I mean? So, like, I'm, I'm nervous, you know, for the series to continue uh, because we could slip and, and they could, you know, catch us a little bit. But I saw what I needed to see game one. I'm glad we were able to set the tone. It'll be harder on Tuesday, but will you be there? I will. Will Kawhi be there? I don't know. <laughs> Hoping for the best. Appreciate you, baby. Outside Staples Center with my boy Dean. He's my boy from college. Come over from Boston to watch the Clippers. First Clipper playoff game. Obviously, uh, probably not the rocking crowd at TD Garden, but how did you feel about the performance and the game overall? No, the game was good. Um, lower section was getting rowdy. Um, I mean, Harden played well. He, he won't next game, but that's okay. He'll be played well this game. Um, but I don't know. Once you guys get Kawhi back, I mean, Sky's the limit, dude. I don't know. You think we're, we're if you're, you're a neutral fan, would you say we're favored to win this series, or would you expect us to win this series? Honestly, before this game, I didn't. My mind's a little bit changed. I don't know. We'll see. I, I think. I mean, you guys have better shots than anyone. I don't know. What did you? Any player of the game? Any standouts? You know, and also, what do you think of the crowd as, as at the end after coming to the lower bowl? The lower bowl was good. Upper bowl a little quiet. Lower bowl definitely getting rowdy. Um, loved Westbrook's energy. Uh, usually, usually a hater on him, but. Uh, Watching him in person definitely um, shows you how, how impactful he is. Right. All right. Series prediction? Uh, clips in six. Player of the game? Uh, we'll go Harden, even though he sucks. All right. Fair enough. <laughs> Thanks, bro. <laughs> Outside Staples Center where the Clippers have just gotten a big game one win over the Mavs. Tamer coming all the way from Toronto to root for the Clips. How are we feeling about this one? Hell of a game. Stole one without Kawhi. Big game from Zoo. Uh, 2015? 2015? Something like that. Big zoo game. 
didn't get played off the floor. He's not going to get played off the floor. So that small ball stuff is out of there. Um, big, big, ter big Harden game. First round Harden is real. Yeah. First round Harden is real. Fresh legs. Um, Luca and Kyrie, they played a good game. Um, but the the everybody else that everybody was gassing up, uh, PJ, um, Gafford, Gaffer, Gafford sucks, um, and all, and all those other guys. They were no shows. Uh, we knew that though. We knew that though. That's not a surprise. So um, Kawhi back game two hopefully, and I'm gonna go with uh, I'm gonna go with Clippers at six. I'm confident. Player of the game for you today. Zoo. I agree. Yeah. Appreciate you, bro. Nice you, Thank you. You too. Outside Staples Center where the Clippers have just gotten a huge win over Dallas in game one. I'm here with one of my most loyal dime dropper fan, Benjamin. Always commenting, always on the lives. How are we feeling, my boy? Dude, I feel great. You know, I woke up today, bummed out with the news, you know, that Kawhi was out because I'm a huge Kawhi fan. Like, 2019, I really got into NBA because of that shot. I was in college. My friends, dude, we were all so hyped to that shot. And then, you know, I followed into the Clippers. This is my first Clipper playoff game. And I'm so happy it was. I woke up and I, I had a feeling like they were gonna win even without Kawhi. And I'm usually like a real pessimistic when it comes to like no clips without Kawhi. But you know, like you know what you say every every single episode, like we can do it without him. You know, it's like we just gotta have that like intensity, hustle, and we have all that over the maps. Like a huge thing that I said was that we have like four or five like offensive shot creators as opposed to the Mavs. They only have like two. Right. So we like there's no way we should have been struggling and it was awesome to see that. Any standout performances? I mean, we kept Luka and Kyrie in check. What do you think was the key to that? The key to that, I would say, was, you know, fighting over them screens and blitzing in the right times. You know, I noticed that they were blitzing when I think they should have. When Kyrie was out, I believe. When Kyrie was out. Yeah, you're right, you're right. I didn't notice that. And then whenever Kyrie came back, I'd be like, oh, like, they're staggering him, I think, right? They were like, kind of staggering him. So I was like, oh, dude, like, Kyrie would come back and I'd get scared because I'm like, I knew he was going to cook us in the second half because he tends to get, like, hot in the second half, third quarter. And um, I think the standout performance was by far Zubats. You know, Zubats was, you know, I was so happy because me and my girlfriend were around Mavericks fans. And I was like, oh, I thought that he was going to get played off the floor. Like, what happened? Dude, I, oh, I thought uh, Gafford was going to clamp him. Or, like, I thought Lively was going to clamp him. But I didn't see any of that. Zubats took advantage of all the mismatches. And I loved it. You winning the series? I would say in six if Kawhi comes back and in seven if he doesn't. There we go. Appreciate you, bro. Of course, Dion. It was a pleasure Thank meeting you, dude. Thank you, man. Yeah, Appreciate right. you. Outside Stable Center where the Clippers have just gotten a huge win. Game one, commanding win without Kawhi. Mason, we've been here all season watching these games, but this really felt special today. I know, and on top of that, we had another low Mets moment. The Dodgers won 10-0. We'll take that. Yeah, absolutely. But uh, first of all, I have to address something. Richard Jefferson, you, uh, I noticed you had a very interesting comment after the game. Hey, the team that loses game one has the advantage? What is that? What is this nonsense? Come on, man. Like, the media seems to be really, really discounting us. But also the refs. Like, the, the Mavs had almost 20 more free throws than we did throughout the whole game. Like, what? But it doesn't matter because James Harden. Any stand-up performances outside of James? I mean, talk about James. First playoff game for the Clippers, and he performed. Oh, yeah, no. James absolutely. He delivered. That's why we got him. That's why we got it. Russ had a great game. Uh, Zoo had a fantastic Amazing. game. Amazing. Shout out to that one guy on Twitter that basically told everyone to bet the unders on Zoo. Uh, I'm sure you lost a ton of money and made a lot of other people lose money. I'm very happy for you. But uh, yeah, great overall game. I'm very appreciative of it, just the way this team has responded. We're going on, we, we win in that game on Tuesday, and you're, are you going to be here? Oh, hell yeah, I am. Appreciate you, Mason. Woo. Hey, if you outside Staples Center where the Clippers have just gotten a huge game one win over the Mavs, Cash and Brian, how are we feeling about that one? I feel great, man. I, we came to the game last minute. We didn't have tickets, but I was waiting to see if Kawhi was going to play. Even then, I was just like, man, I'm going to go support the team. They need us most. My voice is gone, man. Love that means you did your job. Dude, yeah, we were just cheering the whole time. I'm probably going to not have my voice at work tomorrow, but I don't care, dude. It was worth it. Sacrifices must be made. Yeah. Let's talk about some of the performances today. We didn't have Kawhi, so we needed everybody to step up. Who stood out for you? Uh, who stood out of me is probably, um, oh, what's probably Zoo. Probably Zoo. Most yeah. likely Zoo. Yeah. How, any other performers that uh, stood out for you? 
for me it was Sue and then um, Russ. Russ had a good game and Harden, of course, Harden had a really good game. So overall, man, I think Sue was the biggest person that impressed me the most. Same. H how are you feeling about the series going forward? You know, we don't know about Kawhi's status, but we looked really good tonight. It's not going to be that easy, obviously, going forward, but what's your, thinking, what's your thoughts overall? I think that this us winning this game I think really helps with our momentum moving forward because the fact that Kawhi didn't play and he's expected to be back this series, I think us winning this game is huge. Like, it's huge, man. Imagine if he comes back next game and it's like a, it's like a game one with Kawhi. Yeah, exactly. So I think this game was more of a must win for the Mavericks than it was for us. Because it was. They should have taken advantage. And they of blew it. it and got blown out. Right. So, I mean, I'm stoked moving forward. I hope Kawhi's back on Tuesday and I think we have a really good chance of winning this series. Appreciate you guys. Appreciate it. All right. Outside Staples Center, where your boys have just gone up one and nothing in the series. I could not be more impressed and proud of all of them. You know, Kawhi didn't play. I was very nervous about it, and I got to give him credit. This is where you win me over. You better believe I didn't like this guy when he came here, and you better believe I still don't care for him now. But this is where you win me over, James. This is where you do it, and he was awesome tonight, making his threes and going at Luka. We went at Luka all game long, and that was huge. But you know what I really liked the most? The way we established Sue late, early in the game. I almost said late in the game. We didn't establish him enough late in the game, in fact. But early in the game, we threw him the ball in the post. It was the first time I can remember us throwing the ball to Zubats in the post to try to get offense in a playoff game. And he was amazing. I said it on the podcast. Daniel Gafford, while he's shown that he's a better rim protector than they've had in the past, can he defend the post? I saw Sabonis cook him, so maybe Zoo can do the same. And he was. And then, as I said, James Harden, but the defense at the point of attack of Amir, of Terrence, of Paul, so spectacular on Luka and Kyrie, caused them to take a lot of jump shots. And they were just awful, Dallas. I think the series is going to be much tougher than this, obviously. This is, they're going to play better. But they were missing everything from layups to threes to just about every shot you can think of. And, of course, they got going towards the end. But what was amazing for me was we had such a big lead that even though they made their little pushes, we sustained it and we were okay with it. And Terrence has to keep letting the three fly. He got a little hesitant at times, but look at the way he's shooting in the new year. He's got to keep shooting. And then what's great is that Norman PG didn't even have that great of a shooting game. But Paul still was awesome to me defensively. I just think that he needs to catch the ball a little closer to the basket sometimes. He's working a little too hard, but I still think he was awesome. James was awesome. Terrence was awesome. Uh, and Russ, unbelievable. The energy, I mean, being at playoff games with Westbrook, it's nothing like it. But my player of the game, without a doubt, is Zoo. You know, we talked about how important he is in this series. If he gets played off the floor, we don't have the small ball personnel, especially without Kawhi. And Ty Lue didn't play uh, P.J. Tucker. And we went with Zoo. We st uh, stayed with Zoo. And he was amazing. My player of the game. I'm very proud of him. And I'm so proud of the crowd. To me, it was the best crowd we've had since, besides the curse breaker game of game six in 2021, best crowd we've had since probably the Houston series in 2015. Better than 2016, 17, 19 and the Western Conference Finals in last year. I think it was just awesome, so I'm really happy, man. I'm just so proud of this. Guys, one nothing, three more to go, baby. Let's get it. Shout out to all the fans in the building tonight. Make sure you like and subscribe. Let me know what you thought of the video. Sorry for the camera shaking. Appreciate all the fans that came out. Let's get it. On to the next. See you Tuesday. Whew.